while there have been rumors for a while concerning Diddy's sexuality, his former head of security cleared this specific air. Rumors of Diddy's sexuality have run rampant amid his various lawsuits on accusations of sexual assault, abuse, and sex trafficking, but his former head of security Roger Bonds is clearing up one particular rumor. Moreover, he recently spoke to DJ Vlad on Vlad TV about the specific speculation that the bad boy mogul was in a relationship of sorts with DJ Felix de Housecat. Bond stated that, while he had knowledge that Felix was a part of Sean Combs' inner circle, he never saw anything explicitly sexual or romantic between them. De Housecat was one of many of the New York executives' frequent party guests, and they would allegedly take ecstasy together which, along with other substances, meant that increased affection did not reflect their true sexuality furthermore, along with these claims, Roger Bonds suggested that Diddy coming out as bisexual, if that actually is his orientation, would now benefit his case amid his many other controversies. Still, it sounds exploitative and harmful to hide behind appeals to inclusion and the LGBTQ2 community to excuse or obfuscate allegations of serious criminal behavior. Nevertheless, Bonds maintained that the accusations of domestic violence against Combs are much more important to address and determine accountability for than any rumors about his sexuality. In his opinion, more transparency and honesty in the past could have mitigated much of the current controversy around Puff Daddy. Roger Bond speaks on Diddy and Felix de Houska as far as other developments in this scandal, it seems like Diddy's going offline. He recently wiped all of his Instagram posts from his account, including a backlash-inducing and conversation-spurring apology video to Cassie. The footage of the 54-year-old assaulting her in a hotel hallway shocked the world and sent this case further into a downward spiral. We'll see whether or not he plans to post anything else. Meanwhile, all this didn't stop Roger Bonds from claiming that Diddy invited male sex workers for freak-offs with him and Cassie. It seems like his philosophy on all this is to be careful about the specifics. One accusation can be true, while another can be false despite whatever close similarities it might have to the former. It's all a very complicated web, but again, there are other alleged crimes and behaviors that are much more crucial to get to the bottom of.